Well, what is up, y'all? And welcome and welcome back to another reaction video. The following program it is intended only for mature audiences. No, because baby, look, why Miss Natalie be eating? Because yes. I run my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shite. We Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit, huh? Day a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches. And my demons, yeah, I'm queen. What is up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host with the most, Natalie Love. Here to give you your comedic commentary on these reaction videos. And shout out to all of y'all for keeping me busy. Shout out to you, Aaron, for sending me all the goddamn reaction videos. Shout out to you, Miss Chung, for sending me the reaction videos. And whoever else I get, y'all, because they done sent me enough to keep me busy for a little while. So shout out to y'all and thank y'all, thank y'all again for always thinking a little old me to get these videos too. Now, before we get started, y'all know I got to welcome my newbies if you ain't never been here if this is your first time welcome we glad to have you now real quick because you may not stay after this um i cuss i curse as i do all the things okay i got a foul filthy fucking mouth and if you're gonna have an issue with that you may want to go ahead on the exit stage left okay if you cool with that but you don't like when people have frequent pauses constant chatter during the videos and all that other shit if your face is doing this right now because of what i just said you may want to go ahead on the exit stage left bitch because i do all of that okay these are reaction videos i'm not your basic boring fucking home girl we're not just watching tv together i'm gonna react i'm gonna talk i'm gonna pause i'm gonna do all of that okay the Bobbiana is Bobbiana, and so you're going to see a whole lot of this, okay? Just because I'm proud of my motherfucking self, because I cut this bob. Not the video, though. Anyway, child, uh, it's no longer safe to go outside is the video that we're watching. If you want to take your punk ass on and watch it by your goddamn self, be my motherfucking guest. But if you decide to stick around with the love family, I got three things I want you to do. Yes, I'm a little bit of a needy bitch, but you're going to love it here, I promise, okay? I need you to like the video. Why? Because it helps us go. For fuck's sakes, Natalie. Boo. I need you to like the video. Why? Because it helps us grow. Okay? Blah, 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 blah. Make sure you go ahead and comment just to let the love gang know that you have subscribed to the channel. That's all I ask of you. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. Okay? So, we're going to get into this video. First, I got to always make sure we record like we always do, child. Bow. Okay? And let's go. Uh-uh. Violation number one. Your hand. Violation number one. Violation number one. Violation number one. You walked over here with a 7-Eleven shirt on and your name tag with a white woman mullet. Violation number one. Because you already coming over here for bullshit. And then you got some goddamn waist beads tied up as a goddamn bracelet because you couldn't do shit but look at them bitches. So with that being said, you have already violated my personal motherfucking space and at least five of my rights. I don't like it. Continue. You got a second? What's up? I need to talk to you. No, you, you're talking. There's a complete emergency going on, and you don't believe me. Mm -mm. And you need to go home, put on your air conditioner, keep your family safe. I, I say again, methamphetamine is a hell of a drug. Continue. Are you Tell safe? Tell everybody you know. Are you and safe? And call the news station. Are you safe? No. Oh, I, we well, can now, say. Go, go. I got to hurry up. Uh, yes. All right. I Pray for feed Jesus. Your body. We need I'm Jesus. I'm counting on you. You are supposed to be at work making hot goddamn and ready pizzas, boxing cookies, cleaning the floor, stocking the cooler, cleaning out the soda machine. This is why Slurpee number three and number six and number nine be out all the time because y'all are in the back smoking meth. This is why in the fuck the goddamn cheese is always ran the hell out and the chili is always cold and frozen around the base of the goddamn dispenser because you are in the back smoking meth by the garbage cans this is why the bathroom is always closed because it's never clean because you are in that motherfucker smoking meth if you do not want these kind of jobs or if you need to smoke a little meth why don't you just stay around about the public do some do some work from home shit clean houses you got this much motherfucking energy that you are finna alert the goddamn city while you are amped the fuck up on your power tool you are gonna alert the city that if everybody need help why you fully got on work clothes. So you either got loaded at work, or you on your way to work, or it's after work. But either way, you didn't never think to take that shit off. I'm going home. You've been called. Yes. Your mission is now. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Let's go. Oh, God. 
<laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh-uh. It be shit like that. It be shit like that just be super unnecessary. And then it's always somebody that get get the people going. have some very poor conflict management skills because... I really don't think that it had to escalate like this. I'm glad, of course, that it did because we wouldn't have this wonderful video. Indeed. Um, come on, come on with the music. This is so okay. ridiculous about this. What should be? Well, look at how he's built. He looks like Danny DeVito. That he br he literally brings out our main characters. Like, the current Danny DeVito, the minus the hair. Which you'll understand. What Around I mean, the side. I kind of love him. Uh, anyway. When the guy with literal paint on his shirt is being more professional with the customers than you are as a assistant general manager, there's a problem. Two guy? A, a motherfucking painter to? probably I got good sense. Move. Shit, he's what an entrepreneur. His this people skills are better than yours. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm calling the police. You have what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Life is wrong with him, baby. How am I the problem? I asked you about a charge that's on my thing. He said, don't ask me about no money, bitch. <laughs> I cannot believe this right now. I honestly You better believe, believe this. it, I baby. I can't believe that this is how you're handling someone who comes here all the time. As long as you uh, know that you're being handled. handled. Are you having a Drugs bad day this your morning? Answer is I'm not going to pay Are for you? My yeah, I, my problem. answer is I'm not going to pay for that because He's that's, that's un, dude, that's unacceptable. Right. You're being Please. extremely right. freaking rude. I don't Wait understand what your problem is this morning. Because when you put the phone down and said we're done and you got to walking around, what that mean? What that mean? Don't get your motherfucking neck extended with no bullshit now. What that mean? We're done. Why are you being like this? Sir, I'm telling you right now. Oh, okay, property. okay. Get off the property. Why Cam, are you leaving? Why is this guy leaving? Why is this guy acting like this? He's getting no nasty. Why are you acting like, like this? Get on the phone, call the non-emergency. No problem, I, man. There, there's something wrong with you. I am out of but you are back there by every phone that she has to walk back there too. Why does she have to be the one to call the police? Because you don't want to look like no bitch. You, why are you delegating for her to call the police? What's wrong with you? The building now, Corey. Okay, Corey, my stuff is here, Corey. What oh, you, come, you know, came come out. Come out here and touch me, Corey. Come out here and touch me. Don't bag up, come sir. Don't touch me, bro. Don't bag up. Don't bag up. Come out here and touch me. Come out here and touch me, big guy. Oh no, 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 no. Cause why in the fuck did you push her? Yeah, Corey, you in the wrong line of business, little shirt. You in the wrong line of goddamn business with your slew foot pigeon toed ass. You are in the wrong line of business because why did you just push this lady? All because you mad that she ain't called the police as fast as you could have? Yeah, nah, not cool. Your problem is this morning, guy. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? What's wrong with this guy? What's going on? What's wrong with this guy? Come on, slick ponytail. I came down here about a charge on my room. This guy's being a lunatic. What's wrong with this guy? Go back up to my, my, my dogs and my, my son's going to get my stuff, okay. man, all right? Yeah, I'll go off the property, bro. Oh, no, I'm not going nowhere with my shit so, in there. Yeah, no. Nah. tired of spending you, you, a ton of I don't give a fuck how mad you are. Well you would just have to be that angry while I'm walking to the back. Because I'm going to get my shit. I'm, wherever my shit is at, I'm there. So this next guy... Oh, Billy the Kid gonna guarantee you that. ...sin of bars he... <laughs> He challenged the bartender to prove that his tab was accurate, accusing her of mishandling uh, his drinks. Hand Don't that worry, bag she has and I'll break it down for you. I've ever seen. Oh yeah. <laughs> And bitch, why you think she bullshitting? She got that shit written down. She has the conversation recapped. Because when that bitch said, oh, fuck it, I'm a man. Ha, ha, ha. That shit is written down on that paper. That's when you do customer service for real. Because I'm always looking for a reason and a way to bust you the fuck out. She wrote that shit down. She gonna be in customer service the rest of her goddamn life. Cause this is, and she gonna actually be a manager. She's, she has a future in customer service management. Cause you got me fucked up. Yeah, that bill cost that much. Before you got to buying drinks for other tables and shit, you should have been saying, excuse me, excuse me, how much that tab is, where I'm at. All right, all right, we good. My favorite bartender on f***ing earth. Hell yeah. I don't, I don't understand. 
What I can't understand for the life of me is who teaches customers or who tells customers that when you call in somewhere or you go somewhere with an attitude, that is going to intimidate a person to not charge you what the fuck you owe. Baby, don't nobody give a fuck about your attitude. The most fucked up part is you tend to forget that the person that you're talking to has an attitude too. I have to be here when you go home. I have to stay here when you leave. So, bitch, we mad. You want to do this or do you want me to go ahead on and get paid for this shit so we ain't got to call nobody else? She said, and then... Hello. So when Joy's like, my boyfriend's really faithful, this doesn't say it is. Hello. Two seventeen. Hello. Joy six plays it. Damn it. With a forty percent tip minimum for questioning your bartender. Yikes. I I just explained it. Is that? And people the forget daughter, bartenders ain't, ain't in it for customer service, baby. Like, hey, we in it to serve you at this bar. I'm waiting. We're here to tend the bar. Being a creep. Or something like, or shit. Maybe was Fuck like your service. Her. I don't know, but uh, this is full blown like mama bear protection mode from our. Oh, he got his shirt tucked in, and that's a wits know, shirt like this one. It wits the no, moisture. I, I don't need All to right. shake your hand. Okay, but stay away from the kids. Okay, you're making oh. them nervous. Leave them the f alone. Making them nervous. You don't have. To oh, you drunk? I said what I said. Leave them the f alone. You're making her nervous. You're making me go nervous. Home. You're making me well, nervous. Go, go on about your business. Go I work Shoot, here. fly. Okay, you I can work, work here, here, but leave them alone. They're kids. I just asked them something. Okay, you drunk don't at work. Leave them alone. They're kids. They're over yeah, here I'm to here, catch I'm the bus. That's why I They're them. over here to catch the bus. Yeah. Leave them alone. Yeah, They're children. Here 20 you have years no, it doesn't matter. I realize matter. that. Okay? okay, leave them alone. I'm not going to say it again. No problem. Leave me alone. I'll report you to the office. Okay. Okay. Please do. I ain't going to tell you my name. Like I said, leave these kids alone alone period oh, okay bitch you can get my license plate i don't give a f about that right. get it leave these kids alone well this he, woman he, is like he gonna like remember that license plate number. i'm gonna go tell brenda in her wall i think three total and she hired this guy from angie's list to come fix them now i'm gonna show you precisely the work he did uh she had another video where she showed what this guy came up with for 400 something dollars uh, oh well you shouldn't knew better then 400 dollars this guy out of her house and break the news to him that she doesn't want to work with him anymore oh um. <laughs> uh, yeah because like you gonna smooth that out he done put quack all over I'm, her wall. I'm not paying anymore. I paid forty four hundred and nine dollars I paid. Do you understand that? I paid four hundred and nine dollars for this project here. I, I, what? I'm trying to tell you, in order to do it the proper way, you have to say it and, and be- I'm sorry, I'm, I don't, I'm like, I'm, I'm bugged out. If this is- And you have to say it and- Listen, I understand the process, no, you're not but this is, I did, this is a lot of sanding. Look at the, yeah, it's, it's, look at the whole wall. It was a, it was a fist hole this big. Yeah. Oh, wow. What is it's all gonna, of this? It's, it's not going to be lumpy. Oh, yeah, Listen, he don't know what he's doing. That's why he charged you $400. I'm not going to tell you. This isn't correct. I mean, this is a mess. It's a, it's just a bigger mess than before. I mean, I, in my bedroom with the f light fixture, like on the hand, on the thing. Come on. I, mean, I don't need you to you explain know. shit. I need you to do it. I didn't pay you for an explanation. I paid you for what? a job. Thank you. Thank you. I feel as though that you you you, you punched the wall. To yeah, I punched the shit out of the f wall, and I needed it fixed. Just to, just to get somebody upset, that's wrong. Totally wrong. It listen, doesn't matter listen, why I punched the wall. Why would I? Why? So, first so of all, I I punched the wall. No, no, no. I don't have time to wait. I punched the wall and I hired someone to piss them off. Right. Why? Listen, Fuck out of here. Why I just paid four hundred and nine dollars? I didn't pay you for a therapy session. The I punched the wall. Fix it. And nine dollars. And they did this. But you make it seem like you want a whole house. No. To build, oh, I said three little holes. 
I said three little holes. You, she said a hole. I, I didn't ask you to re you did rebuild the house for free. Three little holes. But if it was done correctly, you've been here all day and I get it. I'm not trying to leave you off empty handed. I really am not. But I paid four hundred and nine dollars for this. To like and one hole that you could literally see through. I, f I feel horrible. I wish it was just done right and we weren't in this mess. But yeah. No, I don't feel horrible holes. shit. It's, it's and the job's not done. Exactly. So you're telling me the next time I see you I have to pay again? That? <laughs> I, I'd rather figure it out myself, honestly. It's the hard part's already done. It's just that you... I don't yeah. think so. I'm explaining to you what... I don't need you to explain no, nothing to me. I need you to get the fuck out. out. I've heard you. I told you I know the yeah, process, okay, but this but isn't, this isn't, this isn't correct. Why did I just do that? Can you get my business card? Uh, I'm just going to keep it just in case. I didn't do anything wrong. I, I came here to repair. Can I get hey, my business card? What am I giving you, you your business, business card, card for? Yeah. Okay. I just took a picture of that bitch. Sorry, bro. Like, I wish it worked out. Stop apologizing. I don't mean to leave you empty handed, but it's just let dope. him go. I, I paid. I hate I hate shit like that. I paid four hundred. Just like if you getting fired, and nine times out of ten, you gonna tell me the reason why. But I don't need you to tell me how I can be better in the future. I don't need you to tell me none of that shit. Just tell me to go ahead on and have have good luck. Thank you. Shit, I, I don't need all of that. I, I, it's better than what it was. All right, man. There's no hole no more. There's do. still a hole in the kitchen. There's no hole. There's three, I've, I've repaired three holes. This this, the there was no hole in the big one. There was no hole there. I've repaired three holes. All right, sir. Good night. That nigga covered the wall <laughs> with plaster. Now she finna have to sand the whole damn wall. I feel bad. I honestly, I feel bad. You can't me. feel bad because you let him go in so on the finish. And I paid so much money. I don't. <laughs> well, why do you feel bad? That sounds One stupid. Underrated I'm not finna keep saying I feel bad. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, I don't like this shit. Go ahead on and pack it up. We won't be seeing you no more because I'm not paying nothing else. This is the kind of petty interpersonal drama that I really look forward to when she I she got on a bunch of prints. Myself. It's uh, way too many clothes. To be arguing about whose son is actually responsible for bullying whom. Did you threaten my son? Who's your son? Francis. Last year, did you threaten my son? Last year. And your husband did flip my son up when he was trying to walk home. Yeah, because I've got, uh, I've got two of them saying that your son is flipping my son off and following him home. I got told by the teachers yesterday that your son punched my son in the face twice. It's a lot of I heard. You not, if you want to deal with this with the t teachers and the principals the right. way it should be, that's that what is we fine. did. Don't you threaten my son. I've never even talked to your son. Asking yourself, I've never even spoken to him. him. I have asked Jimmy, him. who's Officer Fogg. I've reported your son twice now. That's fantastic. I will go do the same to your son. My son. You don't even know, though, obviously. Son, she's my... calling my son. He's calling my uh -oh, son. Uh-oh, I didn't kick you. I'm getting the call. Wrong. Okay. My son finally did something. Oh, okay, so you know about it. After being walked away several different times, okay. and, and you and you get to walk to my house yelling and screaming at me, that's you not how this works. My son gets to feel safe and you when can he leave. leaves school. I will call the police. Do so. Because I'm talking to you. you going to call the police for a children's fight? That's crazy. I will, I will call the, the cops. Antagonist in this next Y'all love to harass the police about here. dumb shit. Uh, Y'all are supposed uh, to be able to conflict resolute for the kids. A quick word of advice. If you want to make somebody feel sympathy for your situation, if something has happened to you that's out of your control and you need assistance with fixing it, the best way to go about that is usually honey, not, well, I guess vinegar would be too soft a condiment for what this is. Yeah, so that's going to be the soonest. Okay, it's the 16th today. Today's the 16th, yeah. It would yeah, be the 27th. 27th yeah, the 27th is the okay, soonest. Okay, it is not my fault. I got off work late. I could not call you guys. Right. Okay. On the clock. Somebody right. better 
Find something sooner. Yeah, I can do April 27th. That's the right. 27th is not going to work. Oh, okay, That's well, the then we won't be able to see you. Sooner. I can't find something sooner. Find something sooner. You better start searching. Oh, There's no. Nothing sooner. Where do y'all get that crazy. shit from? Surprised if you can't. Where do y'all get that shit from telling somebody what they better do? She obviously looked for the soonest thing that they had. So if it's April 27th, that's just what it is. We can get you in on a cancellation, depending on the severity of your situation. But uh, I'm not going to look for something that's not there because I know it's not there. You're speaking to me because I work here and I'm the one that has the ability to search for it. Right, right. So that means I would have had to already have done that. I'm not trying to exclude you from a sooner appointment just to piss you off. Or hold you up here. Since it's not your fault that you couldn't get off work or it's not your fault that you couldn't get off on time or it's not your fault that you couldn't call us in the wonderful world of cell phones. Get out of my face. Find me something. I'm not charging you nothing. I'm okay, telling you the day. Find me something sooner. I heard you the first That's time. as soon as no, I can do. Okay, you not. can go somewhere else if you like. Hello. Bullshit. Hello. I'm take something out of my insurance, I'll... Hello. We're not going to take my thing out of your insurance. You don't have to worry Bullshit, about that. Because your doctor does. Okay. Have a good day. My doctor, he's the doctor. I don't, he, the doctor's the doctor. He's doctoring. He doesn't do billing. That's what people go to school for billing and coding for. That's not his job. And if you weren't seen, how can we charge you for something that we never did? Have a good day, ma'am. You can go somewhere else. You'll get you your like. explanation of benefits. Keep out of April 27th? Sure. Okay. What time do you want? Whatever time you have. That's the I issue. Can do 8, 8 a.m. That's the issue, obviously. So we need to know what time do you have since you can't get off on time. We want to make sure that we're, we're adhering to your schedule. So what's the time? And give yourself probably a 30-minute cushion to make sure that you're able to be here on time. The fuck? Later. He doesn't Go do ahead. contacts in the afternoon. Bullshit, because I have one at 4 o'clock and I... Yes, and today was the last day. That's not our fault. Bullshit. You got off work late. Hello. Okay, ma'am. So if you're going to be talking to me like that, I'm going to need you to exit and go to a different doctor because we're not going to deal with you being late to your appointment. Hello. Okay? I have a job just like Okay, you. so go to your job and tell them you have an appointment and you need to get off early. Try, try, That's what you need to, to do. Uh -huh. Try to Shit. Provide for your kids Bitch. as an own income. I know that's and right. See if you have any control. I'm not sure what that I has to do with my account. I don't have. That has okay, nothing to do with us. Shit. Good for you. I don't have a child. Okay. Sweetheart, everything that you're telling me, you need to tell their goddamn daddy. I don't have help. I don't have child support. You had nine months to figure that shit out. And nine times out of ten, you probably had longer than that if you knew who the fuck their daddy was beforehand. Knock it off. Even if their daddy is around, you should always prepare to be a single parent. The daddies too. You should always make sure that you are prepared to be a single parent. Because people be people in out here and you can't control no goddamn body. Always have a mind frame that you're a single parent, even if you are not. So you standing up here telling this lady all of your woes about having kids and this, that, and the third. Don't nobody want to hear that because you were able to use that same phone that you couldn't call us with to reschedule to schedule the appointment. So if you want to know the next time we got a 4 p.m., make sure that's the day that you can make it. You may preferably want it to be on the day that you're off if we have it available that day. But just like you have a schedule, doctors do too. And that's what I have to abide by and adhere to. Did you want April 27th at 8 a.m.? I like her though. She handling okay, her ass. I do this shit on my own. So like I said. Okay, I'm sister soldier. Because I got no. off work late. Bitch. Watch, I had transfer, I had already- Okay, sister soldier. People over here. Don't People send them. For one person. All right, ma'am. Don't send them. Your family, I hope you- All right. Don't, don't send them. Oh my God, you need to go. You need to go. You need to go. You need to, go. You need to Yeah, cause you overdoing it. And it, is the crazy God's part father. is you're going through all of that and you still need an appointment. You still need an appointment and you're going through all of that who block okay, for what? Am I misinterpreting this next one or am I right in saying that it sounds like these women were in line to show their Costco card, which everyone who goes to Costco knows you need a Costco card to get in. That's the whole point of the membership. Uh, it sounds like they were in line and they jumped out of line saying they were going to the bathroom uh, without showing their card.
And if I'm right about that, then I'm not really sure who's actually in the right here. This guy might just be legitimately doing his job. Costco employee targeted me and my wife. So still, it's just a policy. You cannot come in. It's, Why not? You're making a big deal out of nothing. We're going to use the bathroom. I'm a supervisor. I can call the manager to tell you the same thing if you want. Right. You we come here all the line. time. That's actually. why we yeah, charge. You're line and all of a sudden you start moving away. So yeah, have because we have to use the bathroom. Can we use Both the bathroom? You, you have, someone has yeah, to she's my wife, so I can go to the bathroom. You're being... I'm not being rude. Yeah, you are. You couldn't you move nowhere else, sir, with that basket. No, I'm not targeting you. Yeah, you are. I'm why can't we it use what the I saw that you were in okay. the back. I hate when it's a motherfucker look just like you talking about why are you targeting us. Girl, if you don't get the fuck on, cousin. Okay, and I'm telling you that she has to okay. use the bathroom. We have to use the bathroom. We're both girls and you're being rude. Oh, God. Yeah. So now, now he's you fucking are. with you because you guys are gay. That's not what he's doing. Why is he singling y'all out? I'm not fooling you. You were in the line and then you and then you yeah. start walking does it away. Like, does it like come out of your paycheck? Yes, it like actually. Doesn't matter. I'm not telling you. Don't have to make things up. I'm just telling you the policy. I guarantee you, you don't you don't go to specific people. I told no, you, you don't. No, watch you everybody. No, you Why? don't. Because we. But have what do you to, mean specific people? I'm not doing it because I, I want literally, to. We were literally because. Because I can guarantee both of y'all called the L.A. Dodgers the Dashers. What what makes him single you out? Why is he singling you out? C come, I want to hear that. That's how you. I was told okay, so if my, I shit my pants right here, is that, is that going to be okay? If we have to use the bathroom, we have what to. What does that the have bathroom. to do okay, with anything, you're pissy, you're not messy? Us go. You're being rude. You're not getting it, so go. No, you're, you're rude. rude, and you're saying why are you guys going together? That's not. Business. I didn't say that. No, yeah, you did. He never I said that. Video. I got it okay. on video. Oh, I, I, I heard. I didn't hear that. I don't care. I'll record it's a, it's a it. <laughs> what's your name, actually? Roberto. I'm a Roberto. Okay. What's your? Show me I'm your. A supervisor. Okay. What's your? Okay, show me your card. Pictures of me. Show me your. See. No, it's not. I hate that Roberto don't know better because when she says, "Show me your badge," show me your card. I need to see your badge too. That's how we do this. That's how you come in here. That's why Costco has a membership. If you were a member, you would already know and you wouldn't even be pressing the issue that I need to see your card because you already know what's up. It's public. No, it's Costco. You're rude. You're rude. Yeah. Of all the things that I latched onto in this rather heated uh, firing sequence, this woman's recording herself being fired from Walmart and kind of going to war with her, I guess now former employer, the way our main character pronounces the word blood just cracks me up for some reason. I'm going to call corporate and I'm going to tell you that you told me to clean up blood. Blood. Yes, say it. Yes. 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 Get out of here. I I'm I completely understand that don't nobody like being fired from no job. I just I'm way too player for this. I'm not gonna never clown at no job like this as I'm getting fired. I don't give a fuck what the circumstances. Uh, raise your children. Rejection is a thing. Sometimes you just may not be the fucking person and if you chose if they ask you to clean up fucking blood and you know It's unethical you leave that shit there and you go speak to a higher up and you let them fire you for that reason Not because you going off on motherfuckers telling them to get your badge and all that other shit Absolutely not There's ways to handle all of that because if you if you didn't have the proper PPE to clean up no goddamn blood They know they got a lawsuit on their motherfucking hands work smarter not harder Get that shit get that shit get Give me a yeah, shut the f I'll take it off when I want to. Can you around? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, well, I know y'all wanted to kick me out of here. I'm gonna f Cause you acting like that in Walmart. Do you need your stuff? Yeah, do I, I don't need anything from y'all bitches. Get the f out of my face. You obviously need that job face. cause you're clowning like, like that and you need this so smock. Pretty. What's up? But you're working at Walmart already. You brought your fat, pretty ass yeah. up in here. You not there. And you see everything. You don't do nothing about it, too. You being personnel. You should know how to do your job, baby. And this bitch, too. They should know how to do my job better than me. Okay, I, I, I hate you your camera. Let's go. Don't, don't touch me. Come on. Let's don't touch me. Let's don't touch me. Don't touch me. I hate your camera and don't skills. Don't touch me. You may as well let them know you record. Don't touch me. Touch me. No. 
baggy ass bitches. They thought you act in fire. You act in fire. You act in terminated. Fire. You know it. You know it, baby. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. I did it. And you really want to fight? You want to fight now? Girl, you just walked through the whole. You walked through the whole story. I'm here. It's so fat ass. Look at this fat ass bitch who don't even know how to work. But you're, but you're not working anymore. We've got some managerial stolen valor here from a woman who is quite literally actually named Karen. She will confirm that for us. Uh, and by assault, let's be real, she really just means this woman hit her camera. Uh, but still, you shouldn't do that. Especially not to your customers. So what are you telling me? That I can't return it? I'm I just want proof. I, I can't return it because I slightly used it. I was here two hours ago. And you slightly used it? And your name is what? Aileen, and you told me that it was a piece of fruit. If it was a piece of, piece of fruit, I can't return it. But this isn't fruit. Where is your return policy? Where does it say that if you oh, use it, you Lord. can't return it? I'm asking you a question. I'm a manager at my job. I don't. That's fine, like bitch. This. I'm asking That's you how a you question. run your store. Where does your return policy say that if you use it, you can't return it? It's. This is public. Aileen don't have you time. Question. Now you don't want to talk. You Hell just gave no. me a major attitude. Aileen I, said, get the fuck on, bitch. I think it's funny. I'm a manager at my job. We're not at your job. I like this. I have people that come back in with food that they've eat, type, tried it and didn't like it, and we give them their money back. Oh, uh, well, I this ain't your store. I asked you if this was the correct stuff. She's going to ignore you. Wow. She's trying to be a manager. That's all. Well, maybe I'll apply and take your job. You That's might your want store to. Manager? Huh? That's your store manager? She's she not the store was. manager? She's a, she's a manager on duty. She's a key holder, but she's not the manager of the store. Oh, okay. Because so she's telling me I came down, I asked you earlier if this was the correct stuff. So you're not the store manager. You lied to me. You lied to me. I am an assistant manager. You're an assistant, but you're not the you're store not manager. Right now, is this the I store manager? She is the manager that's here. Oh, ma'am, stop talking. So, but she's telling me because I was just here. I mean, the time's on the sleep right. shows. I was just here. I went home. I asked her if this was correct stuff. She said it dries tacky. I used it. It ruined my canvas. It's not tacky at all. So I bring it back, and she said, because I used a tiny little sliver of it, I'm not allowed to return it and exchange it for something else. I cannot return it. Never heard of that. I can bring this to Walmart. If I bought this at Walmart, I can return it. This that is not Walmart. It's not Walmart. You should have bought it from Walmart. Horrible attitude. Is, is anybody that, is that calling the, the manager? Because it says right here, returns are easy. If you have a full receipt, you're allowed to return it for the original payment method. I don't even want to return it. I want to exchange it. Is the store manager here? Oh, I want to talk to her then. <laughs> Ain't nobody calling no you manager. You need to be fired. You've got a horrible, horrible attitude. And the last time I was here, you had a horrible attitude. I don't see why it's funny. And yet you keep coming back. That's what's funny. If I acted that way as a manager of my job, I'd be fired. Wow. Well, that's probably why you should patron with your job then. You guys at least are respectful. What makes them respectful, though? Because they're not telling you no. <laughs> Ain't none of them told you yes either. <laughs> oh, my God. You just said if I want your job, I can have it? Yes, I am. Because I want proof of how I want. We'll return this stuff first, and then we'll leave. Call them. What are they going to do? You call the police for some goddamn glue. I'm recording. Wow. What is your name? My name's Karen. All right. Oh, God, you Karen. Don't even, you don't even Karen. know what happened. You didn't even ask me. You didn't hear, you didn't hear the initial conversation. She has an attitude problem. Wow. What is the wow about? Y'all want to be oppressed so bad. Here you go. Shit. Wow. 
Just go. Just go. This will all be aired. The whole conversation. Wow, what is your name again? Karen? Karen. Karen. Oh, it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. Out of my store. Wow. Oh, God. When you call me, she you she actually need a little sisters. peroxide on them teeth. Because that was in natural sunlight and them holes was butter yellow. This business owner tracks a couple of women down to another store in this mall because she Y'all in there stealing. stealing. Apparently her, uh, her ding-a-ling thing at the front of the store went off. The, the oh, I was going to say, wait a minute. She you know stole some ding-a-ling. Thing that ding beeps. Uh, anyway, this security guard, you'll notice, says yeah, he's still aware of problems with this store owner's security system. So this isn't the first time this has happened. He seems exasperated more than anything else. Listen, we walked in the store for five seconds and walked out here. Uh, I walked back there and said, I'll let you check my yes, door. Yes, please. But Thank she ain't you. gonna harass me about trying to steal it here. You wanna see? I ain't got none of your little ragged you ass clothes. Oh, no, I wanna be Damn. so this way. I don't have none of this. Talk about your business. Yeah. I done showed the Your motherfucker that she anyway. brought to look. Oh no, I ain't got no security. She brought security to look. She I'm, I'm telling you, I walked break. in the store for five seconds, like, and walked right back out and it beat. No, I got you. So, we, so now you owe her apology. Yeah, you owe me an apology we are because familiar. you're harassing me. Man, no. we are familiar with her security. She said no, and now okay, she don't so understand she apology. But y'all not gonna harass me walking. She she followed me from she to get that shit fixed. She need to get that fixed. That's like but you harassing me, um, walking me like walking behind me through all the stores. Yeah, I you wouldn't know, even. That's like too much that conversation. Notice, I ain't got uh, your shit. Good day. As I see different like Dollar Tree freakout videos, things are not going well at Dollar Tree. Every it seems like every single video that we see, the floors are crusty and sticky. The items on the shelves. Hell yeah, yeah, they ain't asunder. paying them people for uh, none of that this, shit. For example, and they got all the DIY bitches coming in there buying I mean. everything. I've been here. This next one's kind <laughs> of one of those weird scenarios where I could sort of put myself in both sides shoes here on the one hand these people are just trying to enjoy a nice you know fun impromptu backyard concert on the other hand they're having a backyard concert in a residential neighborhood Rude. I can't say I'd be particularly juiced Rude. about that if I were the homeowner next door what's up what's going on by a certain time oh I'm just rapping <laughs> Was that? Oh, it's, uh, I, I thought that explained it. Um, no, no, I. <laughs> right. Word. Right. I didn't use the word yeah. domicile. Oh, uh, well, we're having a little show. This is so far sound. They do like int uh, intimate little shows of in random spaces. It's not up to me. I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy. I'm just I'm just rapping and saying the N word. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, either turn the music on and keep going or wrap uh, it up. This song is called. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did that. Should I just? That was nice and long, child. Shit, I might try and get to another one, but uh, baby, I don't know. I didn't expect him to be that long, girl. But anyway, I'm up. Fuck it. We on to the next one. Make sure you like, again, comment, and subscribe to let the love gang know that you have liked and subscribed, child. And until next time, bye.